good morning and it's Friday um, and it's been a big week it's been a big big week I've had a bee sting I can't believe that bee sting story definitely I've got a lot of leverage out of that um, I've still got this massive fucking unique itchy thing on my butt <sighs> anyway thank goodness I don't have to wear any togs no I'm kidding <laughs> Uh, the last time my body saw togs was a long time ago. Anyway, um, look, today what I wanted to talk about is a little bit of gratitude. Friday should be about gratitude. Friday should be about re reflecting back on the week and going, wow, what an amazing week I've had. And I've had an amazing week. I got to talk to some of my dear friends. I got to really sit in the fitness industry this week, and I'm excited. I did the did the seminar yesterday with Grant Goes and Fine Fit People and their virtual fitness summit, and that was awesome. What a great you know, fantastic job. You can be really proud of yourself, Grant. And um, that seminar went so well that they've asked me back to do another seminar on the 30th. And I am more than happy to say that I am excited about the opportunity to be able to come and present again. So yay. And it just goes to show, right, that despite the fact that we are living in this small little world, I managed to do a seminar in Dubai last night or yesterday afternoon. You know, how crazy is that? And now I'm going to go back and do another one. That's fantastic. Um, it did make me think, how can I bring that same seminar to New Zealand? So um, I'm talking with my uh, business partners in B-Suite today at 10. We've got a meeting. Yay, Rob, Jack, and uh, Paul. I'm excited about hanging out with you guys for 15, 20 minutes, um, which is as long as I've got, unfortunately. Uh, but we will be talking about how we can bring that particular course to you guys. So I'll probably send out a link and I'll make a time for next week. And if you're interested in online connectivity, the fitness hack, then jump onto that seminar. It will be free. It will be on Zoom. Um, and I will put that out in my correspondence soon. It'll be on my website as well. Um, and I guess, so that was that's awesome. I've done that. Great conversations with lots of amazing humans, and I look forward to keeping those connections live. I had a massive conversation with Amy Styles this morning. That was awesome. Love that woman. Um, and I guess my lesson today is how do you monetize? Yesterday I talked about making big decisions. So if you think about what's happened over this week, I've tried to unpack ways in which, depending on what bucket you live in, depending on who you are, um, obviously there's been a fitness spin. But that's mostly because that's where I've spent a whole bunch of my life. Um, but I wanted to give you helpful ways in which you could reframe, repack, pivot into the new world. Yesterday I talked about make hard decisions fast alongside creating a skeletal cost structure. Um, and be really, really tough with your working capital, man. Do not spend anything you don't need to. Do not. You know, in fact, it's probably the only time in the world that I'd say to you, don't pay your bills until you need to. And even then ask the question, can you organize something to pay less for now while no money's coming in? And what you'll find is most people are more than happy to look after you. You know, we have a little bit of debt and think forward. And that debt, they have been so gracious with us. And so, you know, like it's possible. You just gotta have you just gotta make those conversations. You've got to you've got to go out of your way to sort those things out. Don't live in the dark in that space. Um, <clears throat> so cost cutting, skeletal cost structure, really manage your working capital. How long is that gonna last you? How much time have you genuinely got? Let's say there's no more stimulus offered by the government, what would that look like for you? What is that gonna mean? Okay, how long have you truly got? With my husband's business, I knew we had probably about three months where we would survive if we did nothing. With Think Forward, we will survive mostly because there's a, there, is, there is work we can do in the digital space. There's not a hell of a lot. There's no new work, to be fair. Not a lot anyway. Um as people sort of try and figure out what kind of money they have to invest. But either way, knowing that is really important right now. So understand those things. Be tough, make those decisions, 
And one of the things that um, one of the industry experts said to me, the hardest part that we are having to make in our world is the cost cutting of humans. And the reason for that is, you know, there's this little thing that says it's very easy to trim dead wood. It's not so easy to trim the good stuff. You know, and I'm seeing some people in government departments, you know, obviously the Prime Minister, we just saw the Mayor of Hutt City come out with a 10% decrease to a salary, which he's going to give to, um, which he's going to donate to different charities. That's awesome. And thank you for that. But what say you have no money coming in, which is a reality for many business owners, gyms, my husband's business, no money, look at our poor truck, look at all this grass that's sitting here, it's doing nothing. <clears throat> so, you know, um, there's, there's real tough decisions people are having to make, please make them be brave, be strong, be, be, be ruthless knowing that compassion and empathy is going to be what lives at the end of this. You're going to stay alive. You're going to survive to potentially offer people a job in the future rather than just dying. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about today is monetization. How do you do that? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I shouldn't say that. That's terrible. Um, but my first response is I don't know. You know, lots of people are saying the same thing. I don't, I don't think I've met anybody that actually knows what's going to happen we're all just like, we're all just walking on eggshells right now. If I had a, have I had a crystal ball? I could do, you know, I could do spreadsheets for Africa and I still couldn't tell you what's going to happen. Um, but I can give you my best educated guess around monetization. And it's really simple, but really hard. The concept's simple. The execution of it is tough. Concept, connect better. Simple concept. Oh, that's easy. I just connect better. Operationalize that. What does that even look like? Front foot. Front foot the issues that your customers are facing. Don't wait until they ring you to say they can't afford it. Just know they can't afford it. Ring them. Front foot the problems. Hey, we know this is a problem for you guys. We get it, we feel it. We are in the same boat as you. And because of that, here is my solution. Is this something you're interested in? And if so, what would you be prepared to pay for that? Front foot it. I'm starting to see, uh, there's some examples of this in the States, um, where gyms that have offered for their members to pay for their membership, if they could, um, or pay as much as they could. And for that, you will get X. And it might be that you get a virtual timetable. It might be that you get daily updates. It might be that you get um, some workouts. It might be that you get some motivational stuff. But what they've done is they've connected. They've said, we get it. And if you can't afford, please, we, we will work it out. But if you can afford it and if there is a service that would be of value that you'd be prepared to pay for, how can we make that happen? And guess what? You can't have that conversation unless you connect. And here's my other tip for business owners. No one in your business, your customers, do not want to hear from your receptionists. Your customers want to hear from you. Your staff, whilst it's nice to hear from your manager, and I'm not saying don't, don't reach out to your staff, you're a manager, your staff want to hear from you. Your staff want to talk to you. So, if you want to monetize, 
or be in a position to monetize off the back of this, I would encourage you strongly to connect on every level you can. And whilst people might get a bit annoyed at my 10 minute videos or my 16 minute videos or my 11 minute videos, and this is looking like it's gonna be a 12 minute video, what I know is that if I show you what I can give you when you have nothing and I'm there for you, no matter what, when the time comes that you have something and I have something that's of value to you and you have money to pay for it, are you going to engage with me? Yeah, of course you are. Because I, I have authentically wanted to connect and help. I've authentically wanted to be there for you. And I believe that authentically 99.9% .9 of people in the world want to do that. I just think there are some people out there, some managers, some owners, some entrepreneurs that are saying, like some of the people said yesterday, but I'm embarrassed to be in front of the camera. But I'm an introvert. Oh, I, I, I can't do that. That's why I hire, you know, you know, the group fitness instructors and the personal trainers and the great receptionists. That's why I have those people to my beautiful introverted friends. Please take a deep breath, step into your power and reach out to your customer. Even if you just say, how are you? How can I help you? So monetization, what does it look like? In COVID-19, it looks like the companies that have stayed connected will be there. And what we are seeing right now is we're seeing massive, some of the biggest businesses in the world being brought to their knees because of COVID-19. Because what did they stop doing? They stopped talking to their customer. They stopped understanding their customer and they continued to tell their customer what they thought they wanted as opposed to asking the customer, how can, how can I help you? The beautiful thing is in small to medium businesses, you haven't lost that connectivity. You just might not know right now what's the best way to do it. And the good news about that is there are definitely a whole bunch of ways you can. So ladies and gentlemen, today is about monetization. And it's really simple. Connect with your customers. Conceptually simple. Operationally, far far more complicated love you all reach out to me if you need me i'm here and on top of all of that i'll be sending out um, some more information around online connectivity and the fitness hack um, it is an hour long training session and i will be um, offering some q a time at the end of it as well um, on top of that i'm probably going to try and put together a group uh, whereby I'll bring in some industry experts and um, do something similar to what Grant Goes did because that was fantastic. It was a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant thing that he did. And um, if you're interested, just stay connected and I will be launching all of that stuff soon. I love you heaps. Have a great weekend. Make sure you do some cool stuff that makes you feel good.